Welcome back to Genuine Corner guys. This is the second video in the Android development tutorial series and today we will start developing the user interface. So the first module that we are going to do is developing this view holder. Uh, this is called the view pager and the view pager is used for this kind of user interface. I mean for displaying data in the form of sliding windows. So less like this. So for that you can have uh, the documentation for view pager from the Android developer section and here they say that in order to use that we can use the view pager in our application so that's what I am going to do first I'm going to the main activity then you can see that it is first setting the content as the r.layout.activity main uh, this is just like if you have developed the Java FS application this is the equivalent fxml file and here it is called uh, it is in xml format and we develop user interface using this xml layout so you can find that layout in the resource section in the under the layout folder or you can just press the control button and click on this activity main so i have opened the activity main and in order to have a preview of the the UI being developed but you can use the preview section right here or you can go to this section design section so that's it here when we open our application genuine inspiration then you might have seen this hello world and first we have to remove that that is shown because we have used the text view the here we first remove the text view and go for the view pager so I'm going for view pager so it is Android or support version for view pager and there is two option which is the layout width and layout height you can also drag and drop the content from uh, the palette section but I think the coding is more simple and easy to understand so I'm going to the view pager first you have to give the width and the height and there are two options which is wrap content wrap content is used only when we use the source image or when you want to wrap the content inside the window since in our application we want it to be in the form of full screen then you can go for match parent so I'm going to use the width match parent so you can see that it is matching the width of the window except there is a padding given I mean since I have given the padding it is showing like that now if you go to the view page it is filling the entire screen so that was the padding and here I am going to set the height to match parent also so we got the uh, layout width and layout height so now one more thing that we have to give is to give a variable name and id for this view pager so for that i'm going to give an id the id can be anything uh, any variable names so view page or maybe code holder or maybe view page so i'm going to give view pager and this one is used as a container for this one i mean relative layout since we are using only one component in this it is uh, you can use any uh, layout i mean there is relative layout there is linear layout there is card view etc so here i'm going to use the relative layout the default one you will understand the use of this relative layout and linear layout in the upcoming videos so now i have given the view page now i'm going back to the activity section so here i am now i have to access the view page variable from the code right here so that can be done by creating a view page object so view page then i'm going to give any variable name so view page now we have to associate that xml component with the activity variable so in the, to this variable and that can be done by using find view by id method so it is r dot i then you have to give the id of the content so r dot id dot view page so now we have associated that view page object with the java object now i have to make a cast so that will is that is fine now we got a view page object now what we have to do is we have to give the data i mean the code data 
to this view page that is not that simple as it seems because we have to create an adapter for giving data in android to any view you have to give uh, you have to implement an adapter for giving data so i'm coming back here to the core and you can see that i have only designed an option to uh, swipe things I haven't designed this user interface so the next thing that we have to develop is this UI so for that I am going to the layout section again and from there I am going to create a new layout new layout resource file remember we are developing this this user interface I mean you, this component the entire uh, area will be display the uh, code so I am going to give the slide layout so that's fine I think slide layout then I am going to press the ok one you can select the root element here linear layout or whatever you want here I am going to press ok so I got the window then I am going to the text section and as you can see I have a linear layout here and in this case I am first going to create a view for displaying this code so let us design this so first thing that we need is the I'm sorry the first thing that we need is the option for displaying the code so for that I am going to create a text view so text view allows us to display data so and I'm going to give it something like match parent uh, for getting the entire width and here also first I am setting it to match parent let's please be patient because uh, we will change that later so now I got the text view enter text view here and for displaying that I am going to give a text here a sample text so Android text equals sample text so now you can see that it is here in the top direction you can change the text alignment using the gravity option so I'm going to give the gravity gravity equal center now you can see that the text is in the center so that's fine now I want to increase the size of the text so I can give the size of the font so text size and the size will be I have to give it in uh, some kind of uh, DP format so I'm going to give that in 20 dp or for font it is better if you use SP these SPDP notations are used in order to make the layout perfect for all the screen sizes so I got the sample text so that's fine the next thing I want is the place for displaying the order name so for that I'm going to use another text view and here I'm going to use the option match parent again match parent again so that's impossible I can't have to match parent like this because this will this one is not getting any place uh, space so that can be fixed by giving a weight assignment here so in the linear section I'm going to give the weight sum to 2 first define the sum of weights and give a weight allocation like weight layout weight equals one so this will get out of total two it will get one portion of the space and this one will get one portion of the space so I hope you got the point now if you want to change the proportion I'm going to give something like this so 10 and not 10 maybe 8 then I'm going to give 7 here here it is in the reverse or if you give 7 then this one will get the 7 and this one one will get the only one so here I'm going to set this to 1 and I am going to give this to 7 so it will be 1 is to 7 proportion so that's fine I think and so that's fine now the next thing that we have to do is to give a sample text here also so I'm going to give that sample text or the name so I here also I have to give the gravity just like before and I'm going to gravity sender if you want to increase the size of the text then you can do that by giving the text size option so I'm going to give that also 20 SP and there is something missing that we have to give the background color and you can give the background color by giving the background and here the, the all the colors are stored in a file called color.xml here and you can use the add color notation so 
at color primary means this primary color so I have given the color also and one more thing that I have to change the text color so you can text color there is an option for text color then I am going to set that to white for that you can either use the this notation right here or instead you can create an entry here in the color.xml file so for that I am going to create a color entry here here I am going to name give the name pure white so it will be pure white then instead I am going to give hash FFFF then coming back to the slide layout section then here instead of giving the value I am going to make use of this notation at color bar pure white so that's fine now we got the basic design I'm not going to add this like and send button right now because that will complicate the entire user interface and I think this is the end of this video because it has been some time since I started this one so I hope you understood the points if you have any doubts uh, you can ask me in the comments so as always thank you for watching this video